After an amazing collegiate sprinting campaign, Matthew Bowling has officially turned pro, and he's now training in South Carolina with the coach Aline Francique, who until recently worked with Fred Curley, who is of course the 2022 world champion in the 100 meters. Matthew Bowling really has had one of the most dynamic sprinting careers in recent memory for a collegiate athlete. He broke 10 in the 100, he broke 20 in the 200, he's won various NCAA titles, and he's now ranked in the top 10 all-time in the indoor 200 meters with his stellar 2023 NCAA championship in 20.12, which at the time was a rather big surprise because his indoor season wasn't quite as consistent nor fast as it had been in the past. But now, he has officially jumped into his professional career, and he's making a pretty big change that I think could pay massive dividends over the next few seasons. Moving forward, Matthew Bowling has plans to mostly focus on the 200 and the 400 meters. This is something that many people have wanted to see for years. All the way back in high school, school. Bowling ran a 400 meter split in this 4x4 relay at around 44.75 seconds, which to this day still remains as one of the most amazing high school track moments that I have ever witnessed. This is really next level sprinting for a high school athlete, and even though he did see amazing success in the 100 and the 200 meters, becoming one of the few athletes to break 10 and 20 during his NCAA career, I think there's always been a huge amount of untapped potential in the Open 400. Now this season, Matthew Bowling was actually a part of a world record breaking 4x4 team, as in this year's world championships, he actually competed in the mixed relay, and a lot of people don't know about this, but he actually ran a pretty amazing time along with his fellow Americans, running a time of 3 minutes 8.80 seconds. Now for this relay, Matthew Bowling ran the third leg in a solid time of 45.13, and this ultimately did result in a world record, which did result in a $100,000 bonus. Now this is a very interesting picture, because Matthew Bowling is standing alongside a few other very big names, such as Rosie Effiong, Justin Robinson, and Alexis Holmes, who made a very significant comeback over the final lap to take this crown. Matthew Bowling really has always had amazing potential in the Open 400, and even though he did switch to the 400 meters towards the end of his 2023 season, I think it was just a little bit too late to run anything truly solid, given how long his season was. Starting all the way back in January, Bowling was competing pretty much every weekend, running the 400 meters, running the 200 meters, and come the outdoor season, he also added the 100 meters to his list, so he was busy all season. By the time he hit the outdoor season, he really didn't have that much energy left given his crazy long season. However, he did run a time of 45.17 seconds in the 400 meters this year in the finals. It's actually pretty amazing to see Matthew Bowling qualifying into the finals this year in the United States Track and Field Championships, especially considering that he really didn't focus on the 400 that much. And I think that this is a really, really significant moment moment to see that Matthew Bowling could be a really great 400 meter runner. And it's not just the fact that he ran solid after a very long campaign. I also want to go back to this year's Texas Relays, where Bowling unleashed his single fastest 400 meter relay split ever. And we've reviewed this race in the past, but I think it deserves some new review given his new plan for 2024, which is mostly the 400 meters. Because in this race, he actually did what I have wanted him to do for a long time, which is relax through the opening 200 and then sprint all out for the final half of this race, and he came away with a sub 44 second clocking, and I think that this really paints a strong picture for what Matthew Bowling can do when he focuses all of his energy on the 400. He has some solid 60 meter and 100 meter capabilities, he's run under 10 seconds for this, he has very solid 200 capabilities, as he's gone under 20 seconds in this distance as well. And if he can train right and peak at the right time, I see no reason why he couldn't run consistently in the 44s for 2024, and who knows, if he can put the right race together. Together, I think he could get under 44. Matthew Bowling has really been the Swiss army knife for the University of Georgia for the previous few years. He's done the long jump, he's done the 4x4, the 400, the 200, and the 100. He does pretty much anything that they need to do, and as the workhorse, he has earned them a lot of points over the past few seasons. But I think at this point, now that he has turned pro, and that he is now training with Fred Curley's previous coach, I think there's a huge opportunity for Matthew Bowling to run extremely well in 2024. And with this in mind, I would love to hear from all of you what do you think Matthew Bowling is set to do in in 2024. Do you think he'll run in the 44s for the 400? Could he get under 44 seconds? And will he qualify for the Paris Olympics in any event? Thanks for watching, everyone. And as always, until next time.